Hi lovelies, this is Divine Reads with your Divine Feminine Current Energy Reading. So I've already gone ahead and laid out the Oracle spread first. I'll go ahead and finish up a shuffle for the tarot. Put some cards down and we'll see what we get. Please like, share, subscribe, or comment as you resonate with the messages. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest. I thank you for watching. Current energy for the Divine Feminine. guys and gals let's get started so overall energy for the readings today we have both spiritual strength make sure you got that okay and we also have the three of wands okay so the energy that I'm getting from this is that the divine feminine is being called to have spiritual strength in a time where she is needing to release some things. This is release a situation, thoughts, okay? She is releasing maybe some hardships, past energies, but she's preparing for something new to come in right behind this, okay? So there's something new waiting for the Divine Feminine that she is needing to release in order to receive, okay? Maybe feeling like she's holding the weight of the world on her shoulders, okay? This could just signify some sort of burden or burdens, okay? Something that she is needing to overcome and be strong in order to overcome. But this is a spiritual strength that she is needing, not a physical strength, okay? All right, so in the recent past, the Divine Feminine, <clears throat> we've got the Wisdom card. Okay, and we also have the Fool. Okay, and so this may signify that the Divine Feminine um, maybe learned something about a new beginning. This could be her new beginning. This could be the new beginning of someone um, who she knows, someone who she's close to. This could be the Divine Masculine. Um, this could be something that the Divine Feminine recently became aware of. Okay. Um, I'm kind of getting something about foolishness, feeling foolish. Wisdom in the full card, wisdom in the full card for divine feminine. Something came in really fast, some sort of message, some sort of um, communication came in really fast and it caused some sort of stress for the Divine Feminine, okay? Um, some sort of thoughts that she's not dealing very well with. She's not dealing very well with, okay? <clears throat> Current energy, right, for the Divine Feminine right now. Ugh, these nails are killing me. All right, so we've got Disconnect. In boredom which is actually a very familiar card from a very recent divine masculine reading I believe um, we also got the nine of cups okay so this could be discontent and bored discontent and bored while waiting for some sort of wish fulfillment um, while waiting for some sort of wish to be granted okay this is like impatiently waiting on both the chords, okay? Because even in this version of the Nine of Cups, arms are crossed, right? And this is such a this is such an impatient energy right here with the arms folded, right? Um, it's like I want it now, not now, but right now, okay? And just feeling like it's not coming fast enough. So this could be 
anything from money to a relationship, um, some sort of news or opportunity that the Divine Feminine is waiting for currently. And, you know, just hurry up and wait right now. You know, nothing's moving. Now, what's currently blocking the Divine Feminine? As usual, obstacles and challenges. Okay? And we also have the Six of Swords. So, trying to move on from obstacles and challenges. Trying to move out of a space where things aren't always going on. There's always something. There's always some sort of obstacle. There's always some sort of, of challenge that's in the way. Something that you're needing to get over. Something needed that you're needing to work through, right? And this is a block. So there's currently something that the Divine Feminine is going through or facing that she's needing to figure out how to move forward from, how to move on from it, okay? So what is this Divine Feminine currently trying to overcome all right so we've got the four of pinnacles and <laughs> i had a bunch of a bunch of stuff to say about the four of pinnacles right i was going to go through the whole spiel of all the different things that the four of pinnacles could represent right but i got to the bottom of the deck and it looks like holding on or trying to hold on to a, a Ten of Pentacles situation, a situation that was heavily invested in, okay? And this could be financial or relationship-wise. I feel like maybe she's penny-pinching, saving, you know, trying to figure out how to get over some sort of financial obstacle that may be in her way at this time, okay? Or she's holding on to thoughts of some sort of old past energy or relationship that she hasn't been able to let go of, right? So subconsciously for the divine feminine, what she's not currently discussing or talking about <laughs> is funny because it's the, the throat chakra, okay? So there's something that she's wanting to say, okay? And this is in terms of ace of swords, okay? So this is either some big passionate emotional approach that she's wanting to make about some thoughts that she's been having or she's wanting to release something or someone okay so throat chakra ace of swords what is the divine feminine wanting to communicate She's tired and wanting to possibly fight for her Ten of Cups, okay? She is exhausted. She's got a little bit left in her to fight for one thing, one more thing. And it's her happiness, okay? It's the happiness of the Divine Feminine, okay? Her emotional fulfillment right his or her emotional fulfillment now because the throat chakra card is here she's either not voicing this to someone or she is not speaking about this to herself okay she's not dealing with it it's something that she needs to speak up about or realize in terms of maybe acknowledging it to self okay what she is talking about, what she does know, what she doesn't mind sharing, sacral chakra, okay, and two of swords. So there's two twos here, okay? We've got the two with the sacral chakra, and then we have the two of swords. Soul energy, two paths, a decision needing to be made about possibly a soul mate or question what is this decision regarding for the divine feminine decision regarding for the divine feminine possibly 
possibly some sort of teamwork, business effort, work related, or this is third party energy, right? Some sort of preparation, passionate preparation, moving forward in the future, page of wands, um, in and out energy, back and forth energy, possibly between two people, um, two situations, two circumstances, right? She's trying to work through some, some sort of soul ties, okay? Whether this is karmic or not, all right? Take it as it resonates. Now, in the near future for the Divine Feminine, we have heartache and loss signified with the number three, okay? And then we also have Queen of Cups. For me, these energies feel very much one in the same, okay? They are both very sensual energies, very loving energies, but also very painful energies, right? This is distress. This is sadness, okay? This is, um, they're both heartbroken, okay? Um, also very, very loving energies, but hidden. It's hidden behind the pain. What is the Divine Feminine in pain about for the near future? Hangman reversed. Fell out of the deck. So this could be that the Divine Feminine is no longer willing to wait. All right, wait for things to change, wait for things to get better, wait for some sort of emotional connection, All right? Um, I feel like it's almost like running out of time, running out of time. We're running out of time, I'm running out of time. We're losing the opportunity, a missed opportunity, okay? How the Divine Feminine sees herself, finding out some sort of truth, right? And this may not be a conversation or anything that she has seen in the 3D, but with the High Priestess, this may be something that she knows intuitively, something that she feels intuiti intuitively, some sort of signs or dreams even that she's been having. What is the truth for the Divine Feminine? Ten of Pentacles, okay? She knows that she is destined to have her Ten of Pentacles. She knows that she is destined to be completely grounded and stable. She knows that this is coming, okay? Having faith, intuition, right? But needing to first leave something behind. Needing to first accept probably that, that loss that heartache and that loss, right? Recovering from that, working through that. Now, outside influences for this divine feminine. Partnerships and alliances, all right? So this can be relationship, relationships. This could be divine masculine. This could be business, right? Friendships of any kind. This can be a, uh-oh. I can't get the card up. This could be uh, a marriage or a commitment of some kind that the Divine Feminine is possibly being offered, right? Or that she is seeing offered to someone else. Maybe making, wanting to make some sort of an offer of partnership. Join forces with someone, team up with someone, needing counseling going to counseling or therapy, right? And trusting someone with maybe some secrets or feelings or emotions that she hasn't been sharing with anyone. She hasn't been sharing with anyone. Moon card, bottom of the deck, okay? Some things that the Divine Feminine has been keeping hidden. And I think this has to do with this passionate, um, endeavor that she's wanting to wanting to have all right hopes and fears 
for the Divine Feminine. This is an easy one with the triumphant success, okay? So obviously wanting to, to win, obviously wanting to succeed, okay? But the Five of Pentacles that is here is also poverty consciousness, right? This is also being afraid of, of lack, right? Um, and that fear is probably what is blocking this Divine Feminine from moving forward, okay? From getting to her success. Right? But she's not communicating this, all right? She's not, she's not talking about it. She's not sharing it. She's not telling anyone. She's keeping things to herself. And this Divine Feminine is not fully working through what it is that she needs to work through okay the fear how do we get over this fear for the divine feminine what's the advice for getting over this fear for the divine feminine what's the advice for getting over this fear for the divine feminine hmm. lost those try this again Getting over this fear for the divine feminine spirit. We've got the Nine of Cups and we've got the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> I feel like this is. I'm getting. Cut out, cutting out some sort of greedy energy, um, possibly being stubborn about wish fulfillment. It's not what you want when you want it, and so you're not happy with it. Possibly divine feminine. It doesn't look the way you want it to look, and so maybe you're a little ungrateful or, or a little unappreciative of the opportunities that have presented themselves to you. Um, And needing to move out of that energy okay needing to move out of thinking so much okay needing to i'm getting no when to to move on knowing when to jump ship knowing when to save yourself right all of these swords are in this boat and this boat is going to sink they are pretending like nothing is wrong something is definitely wrong and I don't know how close they are to shore, but they look like they still have a ways to go to me, okay? And so if you're on this journey, in this long journey, and you're not sure how long you're going to be on this journey, it is best to pro properly prepare for your journey, okay? If you are not properly prepared, you can get stuck out in the middle of the ocean, okay? With not a, a life raft in sight, okay? Not a person to save you. Okay, and you're responsible for others. You could be responsible for others. You could have children or family or just people who depend on you in some way, shape, or form. Okay, and you have to first be accountable for you before you can be accountable for others. Now, the possible outcome for this divine feminine I've got the wishing game. Okay. But we also have the sands of time, right? So, again, running out of time. Running out of time. We also have the page of pinnacles. So, possibly needing more time, wanting more time in order to figure out how to, how to create some sort of roots here, okay? Um, how to create this stability how to work with two, right? Whether this is you and another person or you and two other people, how to work together, how to how to create this, this stability, how to protect it. The waiting game. I'm sorry, I think I said the wishing game. The waiting game, right? 
conflict, five of wands, right? Very difficult to wait. Very hard to be patient. Divine timing can take what seems like forever, right? Devil card, right? That's impatience is one of those things that can definitely be seen as a toxic trait when it's not for the betterment of your situation, right? Waiting for justice, waiting for things to be balanced, waiting for things to be fair, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask for a little advice. Three cards, to be exact, for the Divine Feminine. Over the next week, three cards, please, for the Divine Feminine over the next week. Three cards for the Divine Feminine that resonates with this message over the next week, please. Bottom of the deck energy is regeneration. So work on you. Take some time to regenerate your energies, okay? Take some time to work on yourself. Find a passion. Find something to put your energy into. Possibly um, plant some flowers, tend to a garden, walk in the park, do something outside. Um, I'm seeing a lot of different weather elements. Um, so this could be, you know, that it's going to take some time, right? Some seasons to to properly regenerate yourself okay i've also got TikTok, so this is another divine timing right kind of card right so about being patient about waiting doing the things that you can do right um doing the things that you can control that you do have some say so in right that you can show some sort of action towards right but i also got come to the edge so you may feel like you're on the edge or you may be ready to take some sort of leap of faith, Divine Feminine, okay? And chop wood, chop wood. This is an interesting card. What I get from this is, um, this is about work, right? This is about doing some sort of work. So we've got divine timing, right? Being patient, waiting okay all hands on deck preparing for some sort of leap of faith okay you're going to have to put this work in what number is this 42 seven seven days Right. So we've got divine timing, preparing for a leap of faith, and doing some sort of work. So if this is what you're asking for, if you're looking or waiting for an opportunity, I feel like this opportunity is coming in for you over the next seven days um, from the time that you watch this reading, Divine Feminine. Um, I feel like if you've been waiting for quite some time, or something to hear back from something about something um, be prepared to do the work because the offer is coming in to you okay the opportunity is being presented to you very soon and you're gonna have to do a lot of wood chopping <laughs> you're gonna have to chop some wood um, I've personally never actually tried it because I'm scared to swing an axe but that's a personal issue I imagine it takes a lot of strength. I imagine it takes a lot of courage. And so those will definitely be attributes that will probably be assisting you in whatever this new endeavor is for you, Divine Feminine. Last card, spirit message for the Divine Feminine. Spirit message for the Divine Feminine, please. Spirit message for the Divine Feminine. Cut it. 
Oh, guys, I love when this happens. So, the card is Wishes Fulfilled. Okay? And so the message is, your wishes have been germinating. They're deeply planted in the soil of the loving universe, and fulfillment is here or just around the corner. But faith is required. When we put ourselves out there, it's easy to get deflated if what we want doesn't materialize right away. Have confidence. You are more than capable of manifesting your deepest desires. It's all happening, dear one. Have faith, loves. It's on its way. It's on its way. It's on its way. Regenerate, focus on self, prepare for what it's on its way because your wishes are being fulfilled. All right, lovelies. Enjoy Divine Feminines. Have a great week. Love you. Bye.